All right, hello guys. Oh my goodness, I'm having major technical difficulties here. So um, let's see how this goes. I am um, just decided to use my phone because the computer keeps freezing. So I'm gonna see what if I can do a good job of holding my phone steady while I, um, I deliver this. And here's something I probably am never going to get to say again. Um, and so here goes, okay, here goes, I'm gonna say it. Live from New York, it's weight loss God's way. That's right, um, I am in New York City for a couple of days um, doing some training and uh, just learning more, learning how to deliver this content to you. Uh, so this is my first time using my phone, so excuse my hand, I'm gonna figure out how um, to connect with you guys on here. So hello, Melissa, I see you. Um, hello, Ali, I see you. There's some other names on, I can't quite see yet, but I'm just figuring out, this is my first time using the phone for this. Um, so yes, as I said, I am live from New York and I'm holding my um, cell phone. So I'll see, um, hopefully I've get, I'm getting, a, I'm pretty steady at holding it. But um, my computer just kept freezing and you guys are probably gonna hear sirens and all kinds of noise in the background, but that is New York. Um, I got in this morning and um, I'll be here until early Saturday morning. So um, while I'm here, I wanted to make sure and still deliver this content to you guys. So welcome everyone. Uh, my name is Kathy Morenzi. I am the president and the founder of Weight Loss God's Way. And what is Weight Loss God's Way? It is a company committed to bringing women together with the common purpose of releasing weight, um, but doing it through studying the Word of God, learning uh, who we are in Christ, learning to strengthen um, our walk with Him, learning what the Word says about health. So that's the approach that we take. And we have an incredible um, sisterhood, uh, accountability, and that's how we grow together to achieve our goals. And so I started doing these Facebook Lives a couple of months ago now as an opportunity for you guys to um, get to see me face to face and to get to understand my philosophy. Um, it's quite different from um, a lot of the other philosophies that you'll see out there, and we all know there are so many. It's just totally overwhelming, um, all the information's out there. So I, I, I try to bring it to you from a different perspective. Um, it's where faith, I say, meets the practical. Um, I just find that sometimes as believers, guys, you know, we leave our common sense at the door sometimes. And so we can't, we have to be, um, use our wisdom and we have to use the power of the Holy Spirit. We have this incredible power. And so how do we merge those two and how do we use them on our health goals? And that is what, um, that's my goal that I believe is my mission. What I've been gifted to do is to help you sort through the maze and help you to achieve your healthy weight. So, um, on my phone, it's a little bit different. I'm not seeing um, comments scrolling by or anything like that, but um, I know that you guys are there. So let's see um, if I can figure this out. If not, I'm just going to share what I have to share um, and, and God willing, actually this is a good time to pray. Um, so Father God, I just thank you. I thank you for every woman on this call right now. I thank you for every woman who will be listening in after. Uh, Lord, we want to spend some time understanding you, understanding your will for us in our health as well as in all areas of our lives, Lord. Um, tonight we want to come and talk to you about submission. Lord, um, it's hard to submit. We, we want to submit, but our flesh so often gets in the way, Lord. So we want to spend some time and just get to know um, what it means to submit this journey to you. Uh, so give us your wisdom, give us your strength to submit when we don't want to submit. Uh, remove distractions from us right now, Lord God, and let us receive what it is that you want every single woman on this call to receive. 
um, because we know it's different for everyone, Lord. So we thank you for change. We thank you for transformation. We thank you for what you're doing in all of our lives. And in all of this, we will give you all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise. Amen. All right. So I've said it, but please let me say it again. Live from New York, it is Weight Loss God's Way. Okay, that's it. It's out of my system. Um, today, I want to talk to you just for probably another 20, 25 minutes or so. Um, last week, uh, a sister wrote in and we were talking about submission. And I think I was sharing a little bit about I tend to have a bit of a rebellious spirit in me, is what I was um, sharing. And um, this sister wrote in after one of the messages, and she said, I'm not sure I know how to submit, is what she said. And I thought, hmm, I bet she's not the only one. And then it also had me question my own submission. Am I truly submitted? And I'm not sure if, um, oh, sorry, I'm just messing up the screen here, guys. Uh, return. Uh, sorry, I'm trying to see your comments, but I can't see them, so my apologies. Um, I started thinking, am I truly submitted? And is it something I take for granted? Or is it, um, do I truly know in my spirit that I've submitted my health as well as other areas of my life to Christ. And the truth is, uh, sometimes I do, and sometimes I don't. Sometimes my flesh takes over. Sometimes I, um, I do what I wanna do. And it's taken me years to get to this point of even acknowledging that. And I think acknowledging it is very important. Um, but also letting God know that, Lord, I don't wanna stay here, my flesh, often takes over, but Lord, I continually submit back to you. And it takes time to get there. Um, we get so frustrated with ourselves when we often um, keep stumbling and it feels like we keep making the same mistakes over and over and over again. Um, but the trick is to keep on getting back up. And so let me ask you guys, um, do you know if you're submitted, do you believe that you have submitted your health and your weight loss journey to God? And now, unfortunately, I'm still looking for somewhere to read comments, so I can't do that just yet. But just type in, do you believe that you have submitted this journey to God? Right? And, and the truth is, sometimes you feel like you've submitted, and sometimes... You don't, right? And and the trick is, again, not to beat up on yourself, but to be really firm and established in your heart that even though sometimes you mess up, your desire is still to submit this journey to God. And so how do you know when you're submitted? Do you guys know? Right? So that's a question for you. Do you know when you're submitted and I asked myself that question and for me well actually let's let's not talk about me um, I'll, I'll share some examples that I have also but if you're not sure whether you're submitted or not one of the things to do is to look at your life just to pay attention right and this is something that we all really need to get better at is to pay attention to our daily lives. Are you present? Are you aware of what you're feeling? Because your feelings, you don't want them to lead you, but it's so important to um, tune into your feelings because your feelings give you an indication of what's going on inside. For So for example, if you're feeling, and these are a lot of Ds here, so um, let's call these my five Ds to tell if you're submitted. Are you often disappointed? Are you often depressed? Are you often in despair? Are you often discouraged? Are you often depressed? Did I say depressed already? I think that's five. Um, but those often are a sign that you're not submitted. Why? Because uh, there's, a, what's the scripture in Galatians 5, 22 and 23, and it tells us the fruit of the spirit. 
And so one way to know whether we're submitted or not is to ask yourself, are you walking in the fruits of the Spirit? Right? So that should be an easy tell right there. And I'm not saying that we always have to be happy and joyous and that's not life. But often, if you find that you're often feeling in a place of discontent, discouraged, despair, depressed, uh, what's the other D? Disappointed, then that is a sign that you're not walking in the fruits of the Spirit. So if you're always frustrated on this weight loss journey, if you're always feeling, oh, I'm just always thinking about weight, that is a sign that you're not submitted, right? Uh, let's see what else. Are you always making excuses? Well, I was going to work out today, but... I was going to eat healthy, but I didn't get to the grocery store, and the weather was bad, and this, and that, and that... Excuses are a sign that you haven't still submitted this journey to God. So what the excuses are telling you is that you're still looking for a reason why you're not doing what you're committed to do. So you can't have reasons and results. It's one or the other, okay? So you either have a reason or you'll have a result, but you can't have both, okay? And so if you're committed to results, then you have to drop all of your excuses, and that means that you have to submit this journey to God. All right, so let me just quickly recap what I said. And again, guys, for those of you who are tuning in, I apologize, I don't, I can't see your comments. So um, I'll have to respond to your comments after. But right now, I'm asking you, how do you know you're submitted? And I'm telling you a couple ways to know that you're not submitted. One is to ask yourself, am I, am I constantly discouraged in my weight loss journey? Am I always disappointed? Am I feeling depressed a lot of the times? Am I in despair? If you're often feeling that way, that's a sign to you that you have not submitted your journey or your life to Christ because you're not walking in the fruits of the Spirit, because the fruits of the Spirit are not depression, discouragement, discontentment, despair. Uh, they are uh, gentleness, meekness, kindness, long-suffering, uh, perseverance. Uh, that's only five. I know there's nine of them. I don't remember all of them. Galatians 5, 22 and 23. So I'm going to give you some homework. So that's one way is are you walking in the fruits of the Spirit? Are you walking in those five Ds? The second way is are you always making excuses? If you're always making excuses, if you always have a reason then you're not going to get the results. So it's reasons or results, but you can't have both. So stop the excuses, guys. Stop making excuses and submit this journey to God. Okay? So there's two ways to tell if, you are, if you've submitted this journey to God or not. So if you say, oh yeah, I'm submitted, yet you're constantly making excuses, or you're constantly feeling this depression or this, what's wrong with me? Why can't I reach my goal? then I would, I would look, I'd take a hard look at myself and say, okay, maybe I'm not submitting this journey to God. All right. Um, what other ways to tell? Well, probably a simple one is, are you getting results? If you've been stuck at the same weight for five years, 10 years, 15 years, 20 years, 50 years, some people, that's probably a good sign that you haven't submitted this journey to God. There's something that you're still holding on to. There's something that you're still afraid of, okay? And it's always a fear. One of the parts I always talk about in my program is a fear because that is at the root of everything, okay? It's a fear of success, it's a fear of failure, it's a fear of giving up control, but there's some kind of fear that's keeping you from achieving your goal weight. So you've got to identify what that is, and then you don't try to fix it, but you don't try to stop. You submit that to God. And too many of us are still holding on to that fear. And let's face it, we've buried it because it's painful. We've buried it because um, we don't want to deal with it. We buried it because it protected us right? Uh, it protects us from that pain that we feel when we were five or six or seven years old, when we had to um, form a defense mechanism. 
And so something happened to us, and most people go through this at a young age, and it might be something very traumatic, or it could be something as simple as your dad squeezing your cheeks and saying, look at those chubby cheeks. It could be something as simple as that. But things that happen to us in our childhood, we just don't have the adult mind to make sense of it, so we internalize it. And that can sit there sometimes for most of our lives. And every time something happens in our lives, it triggers that memory over and over and over again. And we start to live in that memory. And so that's what that fear is that keeps us from submitting often. And God really wants us to give up all those things we're holding on to. He wants all of those fears because he really is the only one who is capable of healing those. And come on guys, we know we've tried everything to heal it. We've tried the food, we've tried uh, self-medicating, we've tried uh, exercising, we've tried therapy, we've tried not saying that that's not good. All of that is great. But until we let the Holy Spirit do the healing work that he needs to do in us, until we ask him to come in and search those deep parts in us, that stuff that we've buried, that bunky, icky stuff that we don't want anyone to know and we don't want to feel, that stuff that every time it comes back up, we push it back down because it just hurts so much. Until we allow the Holy Spirit to deal with that, until we submit that, we're going to keep struggling. And a lot for a lot of us, that lack of submission often shows up um, in a time uh, area. So we don't put in the time that we need to do to study the scriptures, to exercise, to shop for the healthy foods, because we still want to control time. It shows up in our finances a lot again, and God's asking us to give him everything. And yet there's still so much that we want to hold on to. So um, let, me do, let me stay on track because we're talking about submission. So now that I've given you some ways to tell whether you submit it or not, now let's look at some strategy, some solution. So how can you submit this journey to God? I think the first thing that you can do is just simply admit that you cannot do it on your own. So step one, Lord, I need you. I'm sorry that I continue to take back what I keep giving to you. Lord, here I am again. And guys, don't worry how many times you have to submit. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. A lot of the times we're like, oh, I can't go to God with the same issue again. Yes, you can. He's not going to say, mm, you've reached your quota for the day. That's it. You're done. He is faithful. He is loving. He is forgiving. Okay. And so... Don't be ashamed, don't be afraid to keep going to him. Now, don't get me wrong. If you truly don't want to change, you ain't fooling God by going to him and say, okay, Lord, take away the cravings. Lord, help me, Lord, help me. When deep down inside, you don't want to change. So you have to desperately want to change. You have to tenaciously cling to the hope that change is possible and he can change you. If you really don't want to change, then you're just fooling yourself and you know for sure that you're not fooling God. Okay, so step one is to um, admit your dependence on him and let him know that you want to submit. Repent every time you keep taking the journey back. Another thing you can do, a simple thing you can do starting right now is as you wake up in the morning, give him your first. Spend some time in prayer. Let him know that you want to spend the day, you want him to be with you throughout the day. So starting the day with him is the first thing because usually when you get up and you jump out of bed and your feet to the floor when you're going, that's it. You, you're already starting off. Um, without your fuel for the day, let's call it. So as you wake up, pray, consecrate the day to him. Uh, one of my favorite uh, things to say when I wake up is this is the day that the Lord has made and I will rejoice and I will be glad in it. And that sets the tone for the day. That lets God know that, Lord, I've invited you into my day and I want you to be with me throughout the day. So that's one thing to do. 
And we all get up and we have a devotion. Yes, that's wonderful. But is it truly a relationship or are you just kind of saying your prayers or our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name? Or is it, um, are you truly building a relationship with a friend? Like if you were talking to a girlfriend, can you um, talk to God that way? Can you share with him what's going on? Can you let him know that you want him to be with you for the day? Okay, so that's one thing you can do is to start the day with him. Another thing you can do is in your decisions, and it doesn't matter how big the decisions are. And so it could be, Lord, help me decide what food I'm going to eat. Lord, uh, and I, had a, I used to have a girlfriend, I kid you not, as she went into the closet every day, she would ask God to help her decide what clothes to wear. And you know what, it might sound a bit cheesy or corny or lame or whatever to some people, but imagine if you trusted God that much to know that he is there with you and will help you even in these mundane or seemingly mundane decisions, to have that faith knowing that someone is walking with you all the time. I just, I think it's awesome. Some people might think it's corny, but... I think it's wonderful to have that level of faith where you will ask God, okay, Lord, here's my closet. Tell me what I should wear. And you wait and you receive an answer from him. And so as you go throughout the day, uh, submission means that you're bringing God into your decisions. So be it, this is, we're talking about health and weight loss. So of course, you're bringing him into your decisions around your food. You're praying before you eat. You're praying while you're eating. You're giving thanks while you're eating. You're praying for a spirit of contentment. Uh, you're praying for a feeling of satisfaction. You are um, you're praying to stay within your boundaries. If you step out of your boundaries, you're praying and you're repenting. So do you, I hope you understand what I'm saying. It's an ongoing prayer. It's an ongoing relationship. It's not a one and done. It's not a, well, oh, I submitted back when I started the challenge, so I'm done. No, it's a constant ongoing relationship, like someone having the pleasure of somebody walking alongside you each and every single day. Imagine, imagine how uh, powerful that would be if you actually believed that you had a partner with you right there to help you make those decisions each and every day. And that's what's available to us, except we just don't access it because um, we forget, we're busy, our flesh gets in the way. To be honest, we want what we want and we really don't want anyone uh, telling us what to do. And so there's a lot of reasons why we don't submit. But guys, if you really want to be successful on this journey, it is all about a step by step walking with, uh, walking with our Lord and Savior all throughout the day, each and every day, on and on. Okay, it's not something that you do once and it's over. It's an ongoing relationship. And so um, that's what I wanted to share. I made notes. I didn't even need my notes. Um, and I'm so sorry that I can't see your guys' comments, but I hope you're writing lots of comments. And um, I'm going to go in, hop on the group after, and take some time and respond to them. If you have any questions, um, please leave me questions in the box, and I'll be happy to help. On this topic of submission or on another question, I'll be also happy to help. Um, these Facebook Lives I do every two weeks um, on a topic. If you have a topic actually that you want me to speak on, you can uh, simply type it in the box and I can uh, get back to you. Or a lot of the times it's just what the Holy Spirit lays on me, on my heart from a comment that I read, then I will talk about it. And so this topic of submission, as I was sharing, is heavy on my heart for the last week or so. Uh, www.weightlossgodsway is the website and if you guys um, are in line with what I'm saying because I realize that I'm not for everyone and that's all right because God has given me a message for a specific group of women and if my message resonates with you um, then get on the mailing list or if you're on a weight releasing journey and you're frustrated and you're stuck then consider um, becoming a Weight Loss God's Way member 
and signing up for the programs and and try it right as there's no commitment at all um, the membership is one by one month by month and if if this is working for you if you're feeling the Holy Spirit talking to you and telling you that this is the program for you then stay we have incredible testimonials from women releasing 10, 20, 30, 40, um, 110 pounds if you read Joe's testimony this week. And, um, and it's because of spending time in the Word, learning who they are in Christ, learning what the Bible says about health. And I tell all of the members, guys, don't trust what I say. Don't believe a word you hear from me. Take it to the Bible, take it to God's Word, and see for yourself and learn what God says about you. Um, because so much of our struggles is because we don't know who we are in Christ. And so that's one of the really important things that you have to, You no matter how, you can't get around it. You can't go to church enough. Uh, you can't say enough Hail Marys. Uh, you've got to learn God's Word for yourself. And you've got to take some time and get in the Word and let God's Word change you from the inside out. Um, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Again, I apologize for the technical glitches, but I'm glad that I was still able to spend some time and talk to you um, live from New York. There you go. I said it again. I know I wasn't going to say it again. That's really cheesy, but oh well. Um, I will see you guys in two weeks. And again, if you have a comment um, or a suggestion for a topic, please type it in the box and um, maybe I'll talk about it. God bless you all and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.